Dear students, today we are going to see about anti-tubercular agents. The important drug in that is INH that is isoniazid or isonicotinic acid hydroxide. Before seeing the structure of INH, first we will see what is pyridin. This is pyridin. So what is pyridin? It is a six-membered ring having one nitrogen atom. So what is pyridin? Six-membered ring with one, uh, one heteroatom that is nitrogen. And that is having carboxylic acid group in third position that can be called nicotinic acid. It's, uh, chemically it is called pyridin 3 carboxylic acid if that co which group is in fourth position it can be called isonicotinic acid so otherwise called pyridin 4 carboxylic acid so what is pyridin six membered ring with one nitrogen atom can be called pyridin and that is having co which group in third position carboxyl group in third position can be called nicotinic acid if that is in fourth position it can be called isonicotinic acid so this one combines with hydrazine that is nh2 nh2 and we are getting Isoniacid. So, what is the structure of isoniacid? Pyridin, and in fourth portion we have CO, NH, NH2. This is called isoniazid. Chemically, it is called this is the derivative of isonicotinic acid. So, this is an acid hydrazide. Hydrazine means NH2, NH2. This is acid hydrazide, CO, NH, NH2. So, isonicotinic acid hydrazide. So, uh, isoniazid can also be called INH or isonicotinic acid hydrazide. What is the structure? Pyridin ring and in fourth position we have CO, NH, NH2. Now, we will see the synthesis of isoniazid. So, the starting material for this synthesis is gamma picolin. What is gamma picolin? Same, we have a pyridine nucleus and in fourth portion we have a methyl group. This is called gamma picolin. If the methyl is here means this is alpha picolin, here means beta picolin, but it is here. That's why it is called gamma picolin. Chemically, it is called four. I mean, and the methyl group is attached in fourth portion of pyridine. That's why it is called four methyl pyridine. So, what is the starting material for this synthesis? 4 methyl pyridine otherwise called gamma picolin then it undergoes oxidation by means of KMnO4 that methyl group no that is oxidized and we are getting acid so what happens here the methyl group undergoes oxidation in the presence of KMnO4 we are getting carboxylic acid in that position then it undergoes esterification here we have an acid what is esterification formation of an ester from acid and alcohol here we have acid so we have to add with alcohol the alcohol used here is ethanol so by the addition of that too there may be elimination of one molecule of water and we are getting an ester that is ethyl ester we are getting now this one combines with the hydrazine what is the formula for hydrazine nh2 nh2 this one combines with that ester here what happens that uh, oc2h5 combines with h and removed as ethanol and we got isoniazid so what happens here first we have gamma picolin it undergoes oxidation we are getting acid derivative that undergoes esterification we are getting ester derivative that one combines with hydrazine and we are getting isoniazid so what all happens here is first oxidation second one is esterification and third one is addition with hydrazine and finally we are getting isoniazid the starting material is gamma picolin what is gamma picolin that is 4 methyl pyridine so uh, once again we will summarize the synthesis first we have taken 4 methyl pyridine that is gamma picolin that one on oxidation that methyl group is oxidized and we are getting acid that undergoes esterification with ethanol there may be removal of one molecule of water and we are getting ethyl derivative that is ethyl ester derivative that one combines with hydrazine there may be removal of one molecule of ethanol and we are getting isoniazid what is the structure of isoniazid pyridine ring and in fourth portion we have CO, NH, NH2. This is isoniazid. What are the other names? INH or isonicotinic acid hydrazide. Now we will see the mechanism of action of INH. This INH no, this is a pro drug. So this is an inactive, this is an inactive form. So it has to be converted to an active form. How it is converted for that? We need one thing. That is mycobacterial enzyme called catalase peroxidase. Otherwise, CAT-G. Actually, CAT-G is a gene. So what is used for that conversion? Mycobacterial enzyme called catalase peroxidase. That one converts inactive drug into reactive species. Examples for reactive species may be isonicotinoyl radical and isonicotinic peroxide. Once again, I will tell that the reactive species are isonicotinoyl radical and isonicotinic peroxide. And that results in the formation of these are the final products. Isonicotinaldehyde and isonicotinic acid 
isonicotin aldehyde isonicotinic acid and isonicotin amide so aldehyde derivative as the derivative and amide derivative now we have that reactive species no that will acylate the enzyme system found in mycobacterium tuberculosis actually what happens here is already we have seen that reactive species no what are they isonicotinoyl radical and isonicotinic peroxide this isonicotinoyl radical combines with nadh it is otherwise called isonicotinic acyl radical that one combines with nadh we are getting one adduct that is called nicotinoyl nad adduct that one binds with enoyl acyl carrier protein reductase otherwise called inha so in this one binds with enoyl azp reductase that one blocks natural enoyl azp m substrate and action of fatty acid synthase because of blocking what happens there may be inhibition of synthesis of mycolic acid mycolic acid is <coughs> is an essential component of mycobacterial cell wall along with the peptidoglycan so finally actually what happens here it is a pro drug so it should be converted to reactive species by means of an enzyme called catalase peroxidase that is catg we are getting reactive species they are isonicotinoyl radical and isonicotinic per peroxide this one acylate the enzyme system found in mycobacterium tuberculosis how it is acylating that one combines with nadh and we are getting one adduct that is nicotinoyl nad adduct that is binding with enoyl azp reductase and that one blocks enoyl acpm substrate and the action of fatty acid synthase and finally inhibiting the synthesis of mycolic acid that's all we'll see the reaction for that now we have the inh by means of catg that is catalase peroxidase already we said no we are getting potential acylating agents these two are the potential acylating agents and finally we are getting three compounds we said no earlier on aldehyde derivative acid derivative and nicot as uh, sorry amide derivative so that is isonicotin aldehyde so we have aldehyde in fourth position isonicotinic acid acid in fourth position isonicotin amide amide in fourth position so this would be the mechanism so what is the enzyme used for this that may be catalase peroxidase so what is the main action which should be inhibited the synthesis of mycolic acid would be inhibited what is the use of mycolic acid it is an essential component of mycobacterial cell wall along with the peptidoglycan now give me examples for the reactive species isonicotinoyl radical and isonicotinic peroxide finally what you are getting isonicotin aldehyde isonicotinic acid and isonicotin amide now we'll see the second drug So the second drug is ethionamide. You see the structure. Before going to see the structure, first see the name ethionamide. From the name itself, we can say it is ethyl thioamide. E for ethyl. This is for thio. This for amide. So three parts would be here. That is ethyl. This is thioamide. So you see the structure first. It is having one pyridine ring. And in second position, we have a ethyl group. And in fourth position, we have CSNH2. Here you see. this is conh2 can be called amide or carboxamide so this is the functional group conh2 can be called amide or carboxamide instead of oxygen we have sulfur means that can be called thio carboxamide or carbo thio amide so what is csnh2 thio carboxamide or carbo thio amide so you see the structure so we have a pyridine and in second position we have ethyl group and in fourth position we have that carbo thio amide or thio carboxamide so what is the chemical name 2 ethyl this is pyridine so 2 ethyl pyridine 4 carbo thio amide or 4 4 thio carboxamide now we'll see the mechanism it is having similar mechanism as that of inh it is also a pro drug so it should be converted to active form in the case of inh we are using the enzyme called catalase peroxidase here we are using eth a it is the mono oxygenase in that case we are using catg that is catalase peroxidase here eth a it is a mono oxygenase that is present in mycobacterium tuberculosis we are getting an active form that active form binds with nad plus to form an adduct that one is inhibiting inha thereby it blocks mycolic acid synthesis so what is the difference between these two both first what is, uh, tell me the similarities between these two both are pro drugs both are inhibiting mycolic acid synthesis the main difference is that for that we are using an enzyme called catalase peroxidase here we are using enzyme called ath it is an mono oxygenase 